I am a firm believer in the local church. I believe that the local church is where you grow. The local church is where you learn how to love the brethren. And, and some of the brethren you have to learn how to love. You, know? you ever meet one of the brethren, look at them and say, I got a feeling I'm going to have to learn how to love you. <laughs> now, everybody up here has a, a church that they go to, a church that they call home, that after the, if the tour is over and we get done traveling, that they go home to the church and get their uh, spiritual fiber all kind of built back up and get the faith all up and go out and go minister again. And, and I have a church that I go to, and the church that I go to is a little different. It's, a, it's an integrated church. Now, when I say integrated, I mean it's half black and half white, okay? Now, it's not like all the black guys over here and the white guys over there. It's all mixed up together, amen? Now, Now, when I first walked into this place, I wasn't used to all this integration stuff. And I looked in, and I saw all these black guys and all these white guys all mixed up together. And I'm thinking to myself, now, either Jesus is alive and well and living here, or there's going to be a fight tonight. <laughs> but when they started to worship the Lord, you couldn't tell the color of the skin, because he don't see skin color. Okay? <laughs> You could not tell that there was black and white in that church until they started to sing. <laughs> then, brother, you knew right away that you were in the integrated church. Now, the reason I say that is because I have noticed that the black folk and the white folk have different rhythm patterns that uh, they operate best in, you see? And uh, now, <laughs> in my church, it really shows up big time on a Sunday morning because everybody's there. And we got a whole band that plays. We got the guitar, we got the bass, we got the drums, we got the piano, we got the congas. I won't tell you who brought the congas. But, uh, and we got a Hammond, and we got an organ. It's a Hammond B3 with a Leslie speaker, okay? Now, let me explain something. See, my pastor is black. And he told me that the Holy Ghost would not fall unless you had a Hammond B3 with a Leslie speaker. <laughs> uh, so we got one. And now on a Sunday morning, the band starts playing and everybody gets jiving and everything. And we really enjoy our salvation, you know. And, and everybody starts getting down and, and everybody claps their hands with the music. And, and the white guys, we clap our hands too. Normal. Just... See? Very white. See? Now, see, to us, this is getting down. But see, while we're doing this, see all the black guys are going. See, now my pastor is black, okay? My pastor Carlton, okay? Carlton's cool. Carlton's about this big. He weighs about 25 pounds. If five of those pounds is Jerry Curl, okay? Now he says it helps his anointing. And, uh, and he does this thing called getting tuned up, okay? Now, tuned up is easy once you know what it is. It's simple. It, he just gets to preaching so hot and heavy, right? that he stops preaching it and he starts to sing his sermon. And he'll come out and he'll say something like, well, Jesus came to earth 2,000 years ago. And then he walked among men and he saw a man named Lazarus. And he said, Lazarus, come back. Give me the Lazarus, come on now. Right. <laughs> it is great. Now, some of you may be wondering about this little thing right here, okay? This is scriptural. It's true, because the Bible says that Lazarus was bound from his head to his feet in grave clothes, okay? So when Jesus called his name, he didn't have time to get changed. He just had to come the way he was, brother. 
Amen. See, so, some people think uh, in order to sing soul music that uh, you have to have skin that's brown and hair that springs back from home. <laughs> now, I admit that that would help, but David said, bless the Lord, O oh my Oh my, Soul. and all that is within me, bless his holy name. See, he wasn't black, he just knew how to have church. Amen? Now, how many know the difference between going to church and having church? Amen?